guys welcome to the channel welcome to everyone who is tuning in for the first time my name is Zinati Tanga also known as Bonke Mufazwa Semangno Cheni we are having another vlog and on today's video I will be traveling to the Eastern Cape for a weekend it is the long weekend and today is the 26th of April we are traveling to the Eastern Cape for a ceremony that will be on Saturday um, right now I have a few things to do. I have some errands to run. First of all, I have to go to Postnet. I have to send accounts for my clients. And I also have to buy a few things that we will need on the road, especially for the baby. And I will also need to buy a few things for us, for ourselves, because it's, it's a long weekend and we will be having fun. And yeah. So I just need to sort out a few things and then we will be traveling. Otherwise, I am already done with packing. I am done with everything else that needs to be sorted. We will be leaving this afternoon and then we will get there. Obviously, midnight. We will be, we will be home by midnight. Yeah, it, it is a bit windy. It's quite cold and yeah, it's a bit chilly. So, but I'm ready for the road. I just need to do these things. The type of ceremony that we are having is called and in English, I am not quite certain of a direct translation of this ceremony that we're doing, but um, it's um, it's also called Mbelego. Some people call it Mbelego, if I am not mistaken. And we will be having that. And the ceremony is for five kids five kids okay at this point i know five kids will be will be included in this in the ceremony my understanding is that it's a way of introducing umduana to the ancestors i also know that each each kid needs to have okay you need to have your own um you, you, you need to have your own goat that is allocated to each kid so that's 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 how i also understand it so that will be slaughtered for each for for, for all the kids that are having the ceremony and so there will be Mbelesi, what do you call Mbelesi? I don't know how to call it, guys. I think nurse, someone who will be nursing the child, looking after the, after, after the child throughout the ceremony. And we as the parents are supposed to be the ones nursing the kids, from my understanding. We, will, we are supposed to be taking care of them. We are supposed to be feeding them the kids, but it's not like that. That's not how it is supposed to be. They will have Ilanduka Mbelesi that will be allocated to them because Tina, as their wives, we are not necessarily um allowed or permitted to do certain things since singing bapaya as ilandoka as 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 omakoti like the mothers of the kids that are having this this ceremony that is happening this weekend like for instance we are not allowed to enter the crawl which is to enter in Bekaya, we are not supposed to do we're not supposed to be around Obushandi Bekaya or inside Obushandi Bekaya. so that means Ilanduka, the purpose of us being in Belisi to our own kids, it is defeated, so it's not possible. So they will take Abandon like their their older cousins who are able to to lead them and guide them into doing the things that they are supposed to be doing, which is um, an example of eating and taking them to the bathrooms, to the toilet in this case, um, to taking them to the toilets and all of that. Um, that's my understanding. I would also like anyone who has a better understanding of the ceremony to share with us on the comment section. Kindly do so. And when when you when you had your own, what 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 what, what transpired in your own ceremony? If you do remember, because um, now in my own experience, I remember nothing. But um, from from that, I took uh, Ukuti. How about this Mbelego this Mbelego ceremony? How about it is? Uh, how about if Emily? think of doing such things for Abandwana at an age where they can remember, where they can be aware of what is really happening so that um, at least you are informed or you have an insight of what is really happening. But 
in most in, in most families they do not have it uh not in most families as, as i'm saying in most families they have it when 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 the child is still younger that's when they have it i doubt if they will remember this um 10 or 15 years from now so i i like i was really i was really interested in knowing why can't it be done when a child is a bit older to remember but i am aware of some cases where other families do it when umdwana is quite older I am not sure if that is according to plan or if if it is something maybe that they miss in in in, in the growth of Umdwana. I do not know. Most boys, when they are about to go to the mountain, that's when Imbele Goya boys performed. So I really do not understand the significance of doing it when the child is younger. Yeah, I am if, not sure, guys, um, if there is any significance in this whole thing. When you perform it when you are older, when you perform it when you are younger, I do not know. But I would really, really appreciate if people can share their own experiences if you know or remember of any ceremony that you have attended or you have done for your kids and if you are from a different culture if you can share if you guys share the same um, if you share the same ceremony for your own kids or if you share the same ceremony for your own people if um, if you have any knowledge of this and we would really love to to hear what other people have to say about this and um we are here to learn we are here to we are here to learn and explore and experience what other people are experiencing it's not because we are perfect um from sharing all these stories or from sharing all these journeys that's not about perfection it's not about doing right it's not a, it's not about being right it's not about um being able to do things it's just how we are taught or what we are exposed to or how we grew up or what we are accustomed to as um as the as, as the people so that is how i take it and i hope you guys can um can share tomorrow i have um i have arranged with my sister wives that we are going um grocery shopping for the ceremony and um the three of us are having Abandon a bit to our kids are part of the five that are that are performing the ceremony that we're performing the ceremony for so we will be going for for grocery shopping tomorrow and that will be in the afternoon of course um i will be resting for most of the day and then once i am done then we can go shopping and then the weekend will start and i will also um and i will also bring you guys along and hopefully hopefully um i will be well rested by the time the ceremony begins and we are having the ceremony on saturday as i said i'm feeling a bit sick um i'm not sure if i am coming with flu but my, my my mouth is just so dry it is so dry and my lips keep on cracking and it's just um it's just a funny it's just a weird feeling that i'm having and since i'm traveling i just need to get some meds so that i can treat myself before i get to the eastern cape and i cannot afford to be sick because we'll be doing a lot of work and i cannot be sick whilst everyone else is busy and enjoying the meat i plan on indulging on that meat i love Inyamaya pork, guys. I love it so much. I cannot wait for for the weekend. I cannot wait for Okuja. Like the food that we cook um, at ceremonies is totally different from the food that you may cook at your own house. I do not know how, but I miss Okuja komtimbi. That's that, that, that's that's how I can put it. I miss Okuja komtimbi. I miss Inyamaya pork. A soft. Ew, guys i can't wait for the weekend the thing that i miss about the eastern cave is the sausage i miss my sausage a lot i really do my tomato sausage from spa i really miss it because i know i there's 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 no visit without the tomato a tomato sausage from spa so that's also another plus when we are visiting so yeah if you know if you know you know our sausage is the best like i've i've stayed in cape town for for, for quite some time the sausage was never there was never the same as our sausage i'm here this side now they do not i have not found the sausage sana our sausage is the best that's that's that and yeah
hopefully i'll be visiting my family i'm not sure if i'll be able to have time but if i do i'll be visiting my family as well we will be traveling back on sunday and we have to be here by sunday night because i have a meeting in the morning at nine o'clock with unozi um mayaba, and i will be styling her photo shoot on the first of may which is the monday monday morning it's me and nosy we are dressing up mama gt yay i am so excited i am so grateful for the opportunity of dressing up Unozi. i really am and the way it happened and the timing i am i am so i am so i am so amazed by how things are going i am really grateful for <laughs> I'm really grateful for what God has done in this moment and really looking forward to the experience and I'm really looking forward to meeting her. Like I am used to so many disappointments guys when it comes to, to business. I am used to so many no's in, in, in the growth um, for all my business um, for all my business attempts. So with this I am holding it with both hands because um, I am coming from very very disappointing situations so hence I am saying thank you in advance to the Lord I am saying thank you in advance to Osis Nozi and her husband so yeah because to do things for me i i am not used to that um i am not used to that and i am not about to i always want to be busy i am so business minded it scares me sometimes because I want to turn everything into a business. I want to turn everything into money. Like that's just how I am. I just want to be busy all the time. Even if I am unemployed, like right now I am not working. I cannot sit and not do anything because I am not working. Or because I'm waiting for employment. I just cannot do that. Sorry. <laughs> I cannot do that. Sorry. Um. So with that being said, I hope i hope um everyone who feels good to you um is not coming and who feels good to you maybe you did not get the chance to be educated or you are not educated enough i don't i don't i don't i don't want you to feel as if you are useless and um there is nothing beyond your edu your education level or beyond your work experience level because i'm a man who tate i so fake in bombosin who think is the ice you know who think is a manzi no good thing is and only like just just sell something that's that's my belief sell something to get to get something back and to also stimulate your mind and to also keep yourself awake from e laziness and from and from e they, like being laid back and waiting for things to happen for you it sometimes causes like a lot of things not to go right for you to be able to to survive as a, as, as, a, as, as a person especially when you are at home especially when you are at home raising kids stimulate your mind man like um i know it's not easy to start a business because there is no money to have like um there's no money for capital there's no money for for growing your business to the level that you would like it to be that is me at this point i need capital to to inject my business i have so many plans for my business but i do not have money so it's not easy it's not enough for me to grow the business at the same time or sustain the business um to the level that i would like to but now as long as I am not giving up and not saying I am I am unemployed, therefore I cannot do one in one and two. I always find a way. One thousand rands I can stock even boots in now. I can buy dresses as if five. I can buy five leather jackets now from New Feeling and sell those five jackets. I can get five hundred rands from that from selling that. Then I can add on another range of of, of items. I can buy five, five 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 dresses. I can buy five dresses again, and then see where that takes me. And another thing that I have learned from failed businesses is the fact that if your business has failed, what didn't you do? 
because you did something and you did a lot but what is it that you did not do so at this point i know that my marketing sucks i have learned that i have done peace with that but i am not stopping i am not stopping because i have no marketing skills i still keep on pushing with my rotten marketing skills because it's not in team take EB business proposal to your husband tell him i would like to start abc is it possible if you can um put me on your budget even if it's over three months or even if it's over six months i can i, I am patient enough to wait for you to assist me maybe with capital for this for, for for this idea that i am having even if you are not passionate about it try so that you can keep yourself busy keep yourself motivated that when the job finds you, it will find you at least in Munriya Koinga Rosanga. At least in Leluka, you are sane, you are able to do things for yourself because maybe that 2,000 rands that you may be getting out of your business, it can help you. Even if maybe go in, like there is a ceremony that is coming up, get a contributor, maybe you can contribute 200, 300, whatever you can afford. Just in jail, like to regain your own dignity, man. Zama, Zama, Zama. Because I believe once I lose my dignity, the feel. And that's what makes me so angry and unhappy. When I feel like my dignity is shattered hike and be right so i always try to protect my my dignity at all times so all the best guys um please watch the vlog and enjoy it and please do not forget to watch the ads we are coming nicely um when it comes to our to our to our subscriptions and with also our our views watch hours and all of that thank you so much for your support i appreciate every one of you that is it guys let me end this um intro here it is very long because i am avoiding any uncertainties during the vlog um when i cannot jump in and introduce what is about to happen or what has happened or explain whatever will be part of my vlog so i hope you guys will forgive me for this long intro hence um i am ending it now i just i don't want to bore you guys with all the details i just wanted to explain a few things that i may not be able to do to explain um throughout our vlog or throughout the weekend so yeah that is how my weekend will be going guys i hope you guys will enjoy it and i hope you guys will support this channel by subscribing please do not forget to like please do not forget to comment as always please do not forget to subscribe i know that most people are not signed up to youtube most people watch outside as a guest on youtube hence most people are limited to liking commenting or subscribing so if you guys can join youtube sign up and create an account for yourself to be a member of youtube you don't have to open it to have a channel you can open it to be a member so that whenever you are streaming the music the movies the channels that you guys are watching on youtube you are able to participate and interact with your with your people that you are following on youtube so that means that you are able to subscribe to their channels and by that you are supporting their channels to grow we are now chasing 2000 subbies i am really grateful thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you i hope you guys will enjoy this vlog bye i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
another Eastern Cape visit. Welcome to another Eastern Cape vlog. Today is the 28th of April and um, for those who are tuning in for the first time, welcome guys. Thank you for joining our family.